Audrey 2 Horrorscape Synthesizer, Spotikatch Dual Looper, and Music Canvas all came out of the same board. This is Simple Designer, a platform that allows you to turn ideas into real playable instruments. And today we're going to tear these instruments down to share with you how they work, reveal the full potential of this board, and invite you to join our residency program. If you're a musician, engineer, illustrator, or an artist looking to create and release your own instruments, this is your chance. Let's dive in. If you're new here, my name is Roy, this is Cynthia X Academy, and we are a nonprofit organization and a community on Discord with lots of makers, engineers, designers, artists who help one another to bring synthesizers to the world. Unconventional, weird, awesome things like this Audrey 2 that you might have seen this is a horrorscape synthesizer um, and these two here uh, were not really officially released but if you know your way through this chord you could actually build one of these as well um, this is a music canvas by uh, Lucas Bonvin and this is uh, Spotikach the first version of Spotikach that is now being translated into this beast but before that it was actually this DIY kit and all the resources to build one of these are actually on github so let's try to understand what these things are how they work how they're constructed i'm going to take apart audrey so you'll see how it's all built okay knobs out and the face plate can go out as well and this is pretty much the same board. Well, not pretty much, it's exactly the same board. This is the simple designer board and you can see that it's made out of a couple of sections. There is the section on top, this grid, where you can place all your components. And you can put either uh, jacks here, potentiometers, switches, but we're going to get to some more advanced stuff afterwards. You could hack this in a lot of different ways. There is the section at the bottom where we have our microcontroller is going to be placed here. Let's get one of those. So in our kits, you would get all this stuff so you could assemble one of these on your own. So the microcontroller is going to be sitting here. And let me just put this aside. And let's say that you want to have your frequency knob right here. You put it on this footprint and you can see on top of the footprint right here that it says 17. If we look down here at the bottom of the column, there are 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 right here. And then 17 is connected with a wire into pin 39 here. Why here? Because 39 is connected and if you look carefully, you can see that there are like internal traces here. And these go into the microcontroller. So 39 is basically pin 39 of the microcontroller, right here, which we can then program and say this is our frequency knob. This is how this board works in a nutshell. You place the components right here, and then you connect between these pads and these pads to make a connection between the component and the microcontroller. Then you can turn it to the other side, solder everything on this side, program it, use our open source library that has dozens of different instruments for you to try and play around with, and of course, hack, and you have an instrument. Unlike simple touch, Simple Designer allows you to create your own layout, which is really cool. If you have ideas of the exact layout that you want to have for your instrument or MIDI controller, this is perfect for you. However, if this is a bit intimidating, you can always go for something like Simple Touch, which already has the layout. It has two faders, six uh, potentiometers, and then uh, two switches and touch pads right here and right here above. Um, yeah, so this is much of an easier uh, starting point. And of course, these potentiometers, they also use the same footprints. So you could 
connect potential meters uh, jacks or switches right here. And these are the main differences between these uh, approaches to design. This is much more built already. You can play and mess around with the code. And this one is like, I take it a step further and now I really design my own layout. It's larger and I can put the components exactly where I want. Let's have a look at two other examples of instruments that were built on Simple Designer. This is the Spotekach looper from Vlad Litvinenko. And you can see here that this is a completely different layout. This layout also is using a fader right here. There is a little bit of a hack that you need to do to connect your ground. Uh, but other than that, you could basically place it on, on this and it works fine. There are also LEDs here. And you can see that on the board right here, we have a little pref board that allows us to add more components if we need to, like little circuits. And that's where we connect our uh, touch sensor. This is the same touch sensor that we're using on Simple Touch. Uh, but here it's connecting to the faceplate like this. So this is not uh, properly built, but basically through these headers, it's obviously a bit more advanced, but uh, you can put here your touch sensor, the MPR one to one, and then these touch pads are going to be connected to the board under and you have a looper, a dual looper with stereo in and out, and it's, it's absolutely a wild instrument with generative controls. Um, yeah, again, completely open source, so you could build one of these if you wanted to, just go to our GitHub. Spadakach is obviously a bit more advanced than Audrey in terms of build. And let's have a look at the most advanced one. This is Music Canvas, which is a take on the Bukla easel. Lucas Bonvin came up with this design. This is <laughs> taking it out to a whole new level. You can see here these neopixels that are connected to the daisy. And then in the back, there is a multiplexer. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this is a proper, like, I think this is the most hacked, simple, uh, designer board that uh, I've seen so far. Um, Lucas is an exceptional engineer and you should definitely follow him on Instagram to see what he's up to because it's always really interesting. And you can see how he's really pushing the boundaries of this board. And obviously you need to understand more of the electronic side and the coding to be able to do that. Either way, this is also open source on GitHub. So if you want to dive in and solder for like 16 hours, <laughs> this might be a project for you as well. If this caught your interest, we're launching a residency program for musicians, designers, engineers, and artists who want to bring their ideas to life using the Simple Designer platform. We're going to do workshops, brainstorm sessions, hands-on prototyping. And within a couple of months, we're going to turn your concepts into real-world instruments that others could play. If you're interested, check out the links below for more information. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Join our Discord and newsletter for updates. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> it really helps more creators find this channel. I appreciate it. See you next week.